taking turns, mastering this essential English phrase. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into an interesting and widely used English phrase, to take turns. This phrase is essential in everyday conversation and understanding it can really enhance your communication skills. Let's explore what it means and how you can use it in your daily life. To take turns is a phrase that means alternating actions or activities among a group of people. It's about sharing an opportunity or responsibility so that each person gets a chance. This concept is crucial in social interactions, as it promotes fairness and cooperation. Example in conversation. Alice, let's take turns pushing the swing. Bob, sure, I'll start, and then it's your turn. In this example, Alice and Bob are agreeing to alternate the action of pushing the swing. It's a simple yet effective way to ensure both get an equal opportunity. This phrase can be used in various scenarios, from playful activities to serious discussions. Here are a few examples. Games, we need to take turns while playing this board game. Work meetings, let's take turns sharing our ideas about the project. In class, the teacher asked us to take turns reading paragraphs from the book. In each example, the phrase is used to organize and structure the activity, making sure everyone participates equally. Understanding and using to take turns is also important culturally. It reflects values like respect, patience, and equality. In many English-speaking societies, taking turns is seen as a basic element of politeness and collaboration. By using this phrase correctly, you not only improve your language skills but also show cultural awareness. I hope this video has helped you understand the meaning and usage of to take turns. Remember, it's all about sharing opportunities and responsibilities in a fair way. Practice using this phrase in your daily conversations, and you'll see how it positively impacts your communication. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.